Welcome to the Notion Pro, I'm Jared, and today we're gonna to take a look at my daily log. My daily log is a, technically my journal and just a place where I can go and put information throughout the day. It also forces me to think about different things and that is something that I need to make sure that I take time for. Now I've been doing a daily log for a long time and in Notion I've been doing a daily log for the last two years. I did take a little bit of uh, a sabbatical from it I guess you could say, it's a nice way of putting it, um, but recently got started back up and have just been reminded how important it is to take time and think about your day, think about what you have to do, think about what you've done for the day, and just close out your day. Um, I found that going in and closing out my daily log and the way that I've been doing it lately gives me a way to think about my day, think about the things that I need to do tomorrow, and just really prepare myself for each day to be more productive. So I'm gonna walk you through my process of creating a new daily log entry for the day, and then we'll look at a couple of past daily log entries as well. So this is my daily log here. It's very visual. I like to take pictures and associate pictures to my daily logs as often as I can. So I'm gonna to go to new, and I'm gonna choose my daily log entry template, and it's gonna open that up. Now I will uh, go full screen here so that you can see everything. I'm gonna type in today's date, which is the 14th. Now, I sort it by date because when I go and look at things, I want everything to be in order, and sometimes I don't create my daily log entry on the same day. Like for example, I, might, I may have created my daily log entry last night so that I can add my three more, most important tasks for the next day, and I want everything to show up in the correct order, and so I found it easiest just to uh, sort by the name and put the date in this order year, month, date. So that way when I see everything, it's technically in alphabetical order, but everything is in order by date with the most recent at the top. So I usually come back and fill in some of these at the end of the day. I'll show my effectiveness. I'll give myself a rating on how my effectiveness was. My effectiveness is kind of a score on my productivity, how uh, effective I feel that I was in the day in achieving my goals, and even in my marriage and as a parent, how effective was I in, uh, in being that person that I know I need to be. I also have a series of emotions that I'll choose from, and these are tags, and so I'll go and choose a tag accordingly to uh, how I was feeling that day. Um, I think it's kind of important to log our emotions because a lot of times we are just going through the motions, and if we're not mindful of the different emotions that we've been feeling, um, we can't go back and reflect and kind of figure out why that was. I like to come in here and tag these as I'm experiencing them, so if I get frustrated because of something, maybe I get a phone call, or something makes me angry, or something makes me anxious, I'll go in and tag this because at the end of the day, I wanna sit down and think about that, and think about what it was that got me there. And so if I'm not tagging these throughout the day, things often happen to us so quickly, and then we move on that we forget, and then at the end of the day, we can't reflect because we don't remember. So I'll come in and choose those throughout the day. I also have a couple of linked databases like being able to link to a notebook entry, uh, being able to link to specific tasks, interactions, projects, and contacts. And so those I'll fill out as I need to throughout the day. Now we come down to the actual template. And this is something that I'm making available to you for free. So go down into the uh, description below and check out my Notion templates. It will also include this entire entry uh, that, that is something that you can easily apply every single day to a new page. So I'll come in here and uh, put in my three most important tasks today. So I have, uh, I wanna film videos and I have videos already in my content calendar that I know I need to film. So this lets me know that one task that I want to achieve is that. Um, I have a weekly, I have my meeting, uh, a weekly meeting with a client. And so that's an important task today. And uh, let's see, and then my other important task today is that I'm going flying and so flight training. And so those are my three important tasks for the day. If I don't achieve anything else, those are the three things that I wanna to achieve today. 
Now, I also have over here, start the day off great. I have uh, morning rituals, essentially, which are just things that I do in the morning that I want to make sure if I do these things, I know that I'm going to have a decent start to my day. They're, it's mainly a routine, um, but I call them rituals. And uh, log my daily verse in my Bible database, spend some time in prayer, and accomplish something before 9 a.m. I'm doing that right now. It's 8.47 a.m., so I'm already off to a great start. What am I grateful for this morning? Well, I got to, I drove my kids to school this morning and so uh, I just had time chatting with them. So I was grateful for that. And then um, throughout the day, I'll go in and add some more things, but I try to think about things that I'm just grateful for. Um, sometimes this can get kind of repetitious uh, and you might end up putting the same thing in there over and over again. I'm fine with that. I had to become okay with that. I don't have to be unique and be grateful for something different all the time. I could be grateful for the same thing, even if it's 10 days a week, two weeks in a row. Eventually, something else will pop up and I will be listing that. So never has it gone on that long to where it's like two weeks I'm listing the same thing. I'm usually, uh, within a couple of days, something else has happened that's caused me to be grateful or I'm thinking of of, you know something that somebody else did or whatever and I can add that in so what would make today great well if I uh, was productive because I have a lot of stuff on my calendar today great flight training because I'm working on my pilot's license and so I'm gonna go up flying today and so I just I today would be great if flight training went great so that's all that I fill out and then I have my evening kind of reflection areas down here uh, amazing things that happened, how could today be better, who was on my mind, and then my checklist for ending the day. Now down below I have where I can kind of put journal entries and all I really do here is just put a bullet point and then I just put in an entry and it goes from you know the morning down to the evening and I will go in and add some journal entries. Some days I have journal entries, other days I do not. And so that's essentially my daily log. Now, at the end of the day or some point in the day, I like to try and take a photo uh, and then I'll upload that as the cover photo. And so if we go back and look at my daily log and look at, um, uh, let's look at this date here and just see what we've got. This one's filled out pretty good. So I've got a photo. Uh, I've got, I didn't choose any feelings for that day, I guess. Um, I've got my tasks checked off. Uh, you can see what I'm grateful for. I didn't fill out some of these others. So you can see some days I kind of slack on some of these and I don't get those things filled out. And sometimes that's because I don't actually create this daily log entry until later in the day. So you can see this right here, this was on the 9th and I created it on the 9th at 10.17 a.m. So I was already pretty well into my morning by the time that I got that created. Uh, no journal entries there. Let's go back another day. Uh, so we've got a, a journal entry here. Um, so that's nice, being able to uh, have a journal entry, a place for journal entries. I've gone back and forth with having journal, like journaling be its own database or maybe even be part of my notebook but I found having it all part of the daily log just seems to be the best process for me. So you've seen my daily log uh, gallery view here, but I can also go and view my daily log by feelings, and so I have my feelings calendar, which I've never really used, and it sounds kind of funny to say, but I thought it might be kind of an interesting view to be able to view uh, on a calendar view uh, the different emotional states that I guess I've been in uh, over the last month. So this was kind of a view that I created and I've, I've maybe once or twice looked at it, uh, but it is there in a list. And then I have my all entries uh, table, which essentially shows everything by date, effectiveness, the feelings, um, this note section, which I don't use anymore. I put everything in the actual page, file attachments, interactions, create a date, I normally don't spend any time in this view. I normally spend all of my time in the gallery view because I like having the image there. So real quick, I'm gonna show you how to create a template like I did so that I can apply that automatically to every single entry just by going here and choosing new daily log entry. So what you have to do is go and click on new template 
and then it will open up a template like this and it'll say you're editing a template in daily log and then down below you can build out your template and so this is the template that I have built out um, I noticed one thing and that the font sizes are a little inconsistent here I've got the font sizes the same everywhere except for these two lines which I know I did because if I went with a larger font size then it would wrap the text and I wanted it to be a single line but for some odd reason right now it's um, uh, it's kind of started to bug me um, and so I may change those I think this is just bold text yeah it is just bold text so anyways I have made this available for you if you would prefer just to go and download the template uh, that includes not only this layout the daily log layout here with the different views already ready for you but also includes my daily log entry template you can easily do that just go down in the link in the description uh, under notion templates click that you can get access to this template apply it and then you can customize it as you see fit but it is a pretty easy thing to set up if you uh, want to learn notion I have my notion course and in my notion course you're going to learn how to build out databases and connect databases to other databases so that you can build your own system and a daily log it will be very easy for you to build on your own once you take that course so definitely check that out it's also linked down in the description below just a hint, if you get one of my templates, you will also receive an offer to get my Notion course at a discount. So that's also an option for you. So that's gonna do it for this video. A daily log is a great way to check in with yourself every day to make sure that you are uh, being mindful, that you are starting out your day with your core tasks at hand. Um, in another video, I'll go through and show you uh, kind of my, my rituals, I guess you could say, which really is just about building routines. And so if you're interested in this kind of stuff, utilizing Notion for different areas in your life, you're going to love this channel. Make sure to click subscribe and come back when I put out new videos because we're going to learn Notion. We're going to learn everything there is to, uh, to know about Notion and just how to build a better, more productive life utilizing a tool like this. So that's going to do it for this video. Thanks so much, and I'll see you back in the next one.